there's no resistance, and or if that's pain, the patient will tell you. And then the last, which is more, most important, is comparing both sides and different meridians. So that means, um, for example, as patient coming with block nose, right? So what are you going to check? According to what I said just now. Right, so you check around here, mm -hmm. around the nose, mm -hmm. to find out uh, which points feel more sensitive. Right, so that two patients coming, both with block nose and running nose. Right, one has very strong um, sensation on the large, uh, large intestine point. Mm. Right, and the other one doesn't have any pain. Just running. No, no reaction around here. Mm. Then further down, where are you going to check? Mm. I'm asking the color. First. What kind of color? <laughs> <laughs> One knows which kind of color. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Once. Well, the the both sides clear. The both sides very clear. Yes. Check the long region. Okay, what else? Yang Ming and Long. So, Yang Ming and Long. Right, okay, so basically, to me, I will first touch the nose. Cold or hot? Cold or hot, right? So, if it's cold, it's the wind cold or cold itself, or deficient cold. And so, for the first patient, it feels very cold, but blocked by the nose. And I palpate meridian. So this, because it immediately imme indicates the yang ming meridian. So I'll check yang ming, but I also check lung, tai yang, yeah, to find out what's wrong. In the end, the patient, this patient coming only one, with one on this side, block, always block, and clear nose running. And her left side, her gu, is the most the strongest yeah. sharp pain. Mm -hmm. And the others, not much reaction, mm -hmm. you know, very equally. Some of them slightly sort of sensitive, but not as sharp as this. So, so that indicates to me, because that repetitive, only one side of uh, the, the nose, is not a constitutional trouble, it's more a blockage. Mm -hmm. It's only on the meridian itself, large intestine meridian, and only on this side, because that goes across to this side. Right, so I will just use lastly, large stacking for one needle. Three minutes later, bing! <laughs> so that is this the first case. Right. The second case, the patient has blockage, both sides running all the time. Mm. When you palpate, that's no reaction. That's no, not, not where it stands out to be very sensitive. Or otherwise, they just all equally, you know, feels or not, not like not a sharp pain, not anything. So in this case, to me, it doesn't really indicate much blockage. Mm -hmm. It's more constitutional mm -hmm. deficiency. Mm -hmm. So what could cause the troubles with nose running, nose blockage? Lung. Lung. What else? Only lung? <laughs> <laughs> lung, stomach, spleen, even kidney. kidney. Right. So, that patient took me a while to figure out what's wrong. I was treating her lung, because I, I palpate. None of them shows two very strong reaction. So, that, that made my, my diagnosis very difficult. So, I believe that's just because generally very weak. And she's had it for, for like over 30, 40 years, that lady. She said every morning she has to, she has to use the tissue to clear her nose like fifty times a day. Mm. So um, and so in the end, it took me like about a month's time to work really find out. It's actually I give her different herbs. I give her lung tonic, spleen tonic, and kidney tonic. Yeah. In the end, I found out I was using Shi Quan Da Wen to help her to stop its going. Yeah, so it's, it's generally qi, qi and blood and yang deficiency.
which I constantly tell them. Yeah. I, I'm just wondering when you have tension and from is there a standard so for how how much you press on and then you can judge for each point. Uh, yeah, because this yeah, is Yeah, wait a, until we talk about it. Yeah. Doctor, have you published a paper about this? No. no. I think they already got to that. As you say, Dr. Uh, the Professor Wang Ji, he's already wrote a book, uh, written a book. And there's a, um, uh, Catherine was mentioned about his student has done a, um, a book, English book. So it's he, published he in German. Yeah, yeah, Jason Robertson. Yeah, Jason Robertson. Five Channel Theory, I think. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, Five yeah. Channel Theory. Yeah, yeah. So long, Jason Robertson yeah. translation. So you might, if you are interested, you are, you know, you could. And Chinese also want to use Jinghao Zheng Zhuanxue. So you could go to, you know, read his book. Wang Ji, yes. Ji Zhu the Ji, Rong Yi the Yi. Yeah. Jing Luo Zheng Zhuanxue. I haven't read his book. The English book is very good. English book is it's very, very comprehensive. It's very right. It's very yeah. Can you give the title? Mm -hmm. You got the name of it? Applied yeah. Channel Theory. Yeah. Applied Channel yeah. Theory. Yeah. Yeah. Jason yeah. Roberts. Robertson. 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 Yeah. Jason Robertson. Yeah. yeah. And Wang Ji. It's the same. They're, they're both authors. So you can look up either author on Amazon. It will pop up. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Robert yeah. Or Robertson. Robertson. Yeah. And Wang Ji. So ro look up Robertson and Wang on Amazon. It'll pop right up on Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. So um, maybe you'll get more information on the book. Yeah. Um, so, so after these four methods, then you can feel and tell the difference under your hand. Right. The possible difference under your hand, it could be the color, redness normally, or red, or blue, or purple, or pale, is a hip, you know, if, if it's quite a, a big lump or bigger dip, they all indicate something. Normally, um, the red normally indicate the heat, yeah? The blue normally indicate the cold or the, the uh, blockage. Purple, obviously, stasis. Pale, deficiency. Raced, normally means the stagnation of chi, stagnation of dampness, and phlegm or even plus it, they say it depends on the texture of that. And that did normally indicate deficiency. Temperature, it feels warm, it feels hot or cold. Right? Obviously warm is back is the normal hot, particularly hotter than the other places, heat. Cold means the cold. Okay. Sometimes you can see the skin marks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there are doctors, I'm not specializing on that, sort of reading the marks, because I find it difficult, sometimes quite distracting, so I don't want to put into my dad is a uh, population diagnosis, because some of the marks are, you know, like birth marks, some of that are newborn marks. It's quite difficult to tell. You know, I, I'd rather not to really take those marks as a significant um, sign of anything, for me. Yeah. But people were talking about those red veins on the back, and normally they can indicate blockages and then the heat accumulation. So you can quite a lot of doctors they they recommend like for for example like um, um, hemorrhoids. If they find around that T uh, seven area, there is a lot of red. But it's all on the sacrum area. There's a red um, spot of veins. You can do bloodletting to get rid of the hemorrhoid. Or they do what they got picking sort of up. Um, um, to, um, to, to get rid of some, to get some of the food, the, 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 the liquid out from the skin to get rid of the uh, hemorrhoids. Um, I was trying to find all those signs. I had a difficulty really finding, so well, uh, I'm not a specialist on this part. <laughs> you, should, you should talk to Henry. Henry, alright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, and also the texture, if it feels dry or if it's wet tight or soft, or if there's a lump there, yeah. Dry not being here, dry is wet means the, the damp, right? Tenderness, actual location. So you do need to find out, press the, um, the local the point, if you feel tender, and then the actual, the, um, the, 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 lo the actual locations, um, which point it is, and also those affected areas, uh, problems. 
then finally compare, analyze, and conclude. What is lump in the texture? Lump? Yes. Lump, just a lump. So under the knees, it's like you have a... Um, a bump. Yeah. So for people who has a yin deficiency, uh, the, um, for people who has like spleen deficiency, a lot of dampness issues, go for the uh, um, spleen knife, that's quite often have a lump in there. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. So it's a damp, normally feels spongy. Yeah. Yeah. But if it's a um, flan, it feels quite gluey. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> How about the blister? Any blister you see? Please. Blisters to do with the skin itself, the skin conditions. Um, it might show something, but to me, unless it's going along the meridian. You know, it happens on the head around here, then it goes on somewhere here, the, um, the, mm -hmm. the, um, on the gallbladder. You might believe this is to do with the sun and gallbladder. It's only just one place. It's quite difficult to conclude if this is only your skin issue or the meridian reaction. <clears throat> The principle, differentiation and analysis from palpation results. I first of all, the principle is left side indicate the problem with the yin, the blood. So yin, the cold and damp also indicate left side. Right. So if if the patient coming with you for both, with both, left and right, spleen nine. Feels very hollow and very sensitive, but left side feels more sharper. What does that mean to you? Left side spleen nine feels sharper, but they both feel hollow. Well, empty. Spleen deficiency. Spleen deficiency. Um, sharper than you're or heading into deficiency with excess, so maybe dampness. That could be, that could be both. Or could be the blood deficiency. Yeah. Spleen blood, which can be linked to the liver blood. You need, you need more. And the damp. And the damp. You need more information than just. That's right, but they say give you some clue. Yeah. What does that mean to you? Yeah. Then you can do further exploration. But damp can be hollow? That's the question. So you need to see. Depends on, because if you have very. Qi deficient, mm -hmm. it's hollow. If it's more prominent than damp, this side will be more puffy. Yeah, damp issues. Mm -hmm. So right side indicated yang and qi, the heat and fire. Remember yesterday I also mentioned about a coughing lady, mm -hmm. uh, right, her page lung fire on the right side, shaka and the left side. So I conclude that was the lung heat. Yeah. If it's to do the lung yin, that would be left lung five sensitive. So I conclude that's the lung yin. Would you conclude the same? Lung, lung heat. Yeah. Would you draw the same conclusions if you needle both points and one you get a stronger chi reaction? Uh, well, to me, most of the time nowadays, I, I quite often just choose one one sign. Yeah. The reason is I well. You might not agree with me. I'm, I, I, I strongly believe the intention is more than the stimulation itself. So when I put needles, I know what I'm going to do. So I choose this point. I think this is to do lung fire. I want this point to clear the lung, lung heat. So that's why I was using that one. Yeah. Yeah. You can use the reduced method, but I don't normally do very strong because. Uh, Obviously, um, in this country, not many people like their stimulation. So, you, you said the left side, the right, right side, left side dominant the yin blood cold down. Mm -hmm. You mean the left side of the body or left side the, the meridian. You compare both sides and meridian. But, but, but also meridian compare the left side, right side. Yes, you compare. You ask them. You palpate, right? And you ask which side you feel more shaka. You palpate at the same time or the different? Uh, yeah, you press on the point. Same, same point. Same time. Bilateral. Yes. But yeah. you choose only one point to completion. Quite often, you will, you, you know, as I say, it's impossible for you to go through all the meridians, right? For me, mm -hmm. I personally choose quite often, especially on the legs, and the Yuan source point and the Hershey point. 
Okay. 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 Okay.